Are you tired of spending money on clicks that don't convert? Are you eager to boost your Amazon ads and actually see them work? Well, you are in luck because the solution to all your troubles is right here. Negative keywords. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, product evangelist at SellerApp and today I'll talk about how to optimize negative keywords on Amazon and turn them into opportunities. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to SellerApp so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Let's get started. Negative keywords are an important part of Amazon keyword strategy when setting up your PPC campaigns. They have basically search terms or phrases that you don't want your ads to show up for. By adding negative keywords to your Amazon PPC campaigns, you are essentially telling Amazon not to display your ads when someone searches for those specific terms. This helps you target your ads better, ensuring they are seen only by the most relevant audience. For instance, if you're selling organic vegan protein powder, you wouldn't want your ads to appear for people searching for vegetarian meat alternatives. So you can add meat as a negative keyword. Now, how do negative keywords work? First is reduce wasted ad spend. Negative keywords help prevent wasted ad spend. When your ads appear for irrelevant or low converting search terms, it not only leads to low click-through rates, but also eats away all your budget without generating sales. Now, let's go back to the example of selling high-end sunglasses. Some users might search for cheap sunglasses and click on your ads. However, once they realize it's not what they are looking for, they quickly leave your product page. This not only lowers your click-through rates, but also increases your cost per click since users who aren't interested in buying your product are clicking on your ads. By using negative keywords, you can avoid spending your ad budget on irrelevant clicks, helping you optimize your Amazon SEO strategy. Second is make your Amazon ads more relevant. By removing keywords that don't match your product or audience, you ensure that your ads are seen by people who are most likely interested in what you offer. For instance, let's imagine you are selling luxury watches. If you don't use negative keywords, your ads might pop up for searches related to cheap or knockoff watches. But by adding negative keywords like cheap and knockoff, you stop your ads from showing to users searching for low cost options. This helps you target your advertising towards an audience willing to invest in quality items. Third is increase click-through rates and sales. When your ads show up in irrelevant searches, your click-through rate drops because you are getting more views than clicks. Negative keywords can help improve this. Experts recommend aiming for a CTR of around 0.41%. Now, by showing your ads only to a focused audience, your conversions increase, leading to better results. Fourth is enhance product visibility. A higher CTR also boosts your product visibility on Amazon. This means your products are more likely to appear higher in search results. Now use the same approach in your Amazon keyword research to improve your product rankings. For example, if you're selling multivitamins for women, you can use negative keywords like men and kids to target users looking for specific products. Fifth, is avoids competition within your ad campaigns. Now, negative keywords stop your Amazon ads from showing up in searches for similar products. Now, this means your ad campaigns focus more on specific niches. It's a great way to boost your Amazon ranking. Sixth, this improves overall PPC performance, as mentioned earlier, by removing irrelevant traffic and targeting a specific audience. Your ads are more likely to get higher click-through rates and conversion rates. Plus, by cutting down on wasted ad spend from irrelevant clicks, you can use those resources on other keywords that perform better, uh, further enhancing your campaign success. Now, let's look into what are the different types of negative keywords. Just like regular keywords, Amazon offers a few types of negative keywords such as negative phrase match. Now, this matches 
search that includes uh, the sequence of your negative keywords phrases like stainless steel mixing bowl or its plural version like stainless steel mixing bowls. Amazon also allows for minor misspellings. Now negative phrase match keywords on Amazon are limited to four words. Next is negative exact match. Now this matches searches that uh, exactly match your negative keyword like negative phrase match. It also accommodates uh, plural versions and slight misspellings such as stainless steel mixing bowls or Amazon suggests starting with a negative exact match over a negative phrase match. So negative exact match keywords on Amazon are limited to 10 words. Now how to improve your Amazon ads with negative keywords? Well, here are three simple strategies to help you make the most out of your negative keywords. First is find the right negative keywords on Amazon. Uh, discovering effective negative keywords is the key to boosting your ad performance. Well, here's how you can do it. A. Use Amazon search term reports. Checking out your search term reports on Amazon can give you valuable insights into the specific terms that led users to click on your ads. You can identify any irrelevant or underperforming search terms uh, and turn them into negative keywords. To access these reports, head over to your Amazon Seller Central or Advertising Console, go to the Advertising or Campaign Manager section and then select the relevant ad campaign. Make sure to keep an eye on the search trends and customer behavior to track the effectiveness of your negative keywords. You can find a detailed guide on how to use search term reports to improve your Amazon PPC campaigns in the comment section below. B do competitor analysis now take a look at your competitors product pages pay attention to their sponsored ads and read through uh, customer reviews about their products you might stumble upon keywords that are frequently used but aren't relevant to what you're offering for instance if you're selling red shirts and notice competitors using terms like blue or white adding these terms as negative keywords can prevent your ads from showing up in uh, you know unrelated searches so by learning from your competitors, you can refine your negative keyword strategy and make your ads more effective. Next is A-B test your negative keywords. Now to start, brainstorm a list of potential negative keywords based on your product, target audience and the market research. Then divide these keywords into different groups. For instance, one group could focus on price related terms like cheap or discounted, while another might uh, center around low quality descriptors such as fake or counterfeit. By organizing your negative keyword lists this way, you can analyze their impact more effectively. Next, implement these variations gradually and keep an eye on how they affect your ad performance metrics like click-through rates, conversion rates, and cost per click. By conducting careful A-B testing of your keywords on Amazon, you'll be able to fine-tune your approach over time. Remember, every campaign is unique, so what works for others might not work for you. Next is use Amazon's negative keyword tool. Now, is there an automated tool that can make the time-consuming task of identifying the irrelevant keywords and adding them to a negative keyword list easier? SellerApp, as an automated PVC software, assists Amazon sellers with negative keywords. It can identify underperforming keywords and eliminate the need for manual search term report analysis. So these keywords often make excellent candidates for negative keywords. If you are wondering how to add these negative Amazon PPC keywords to your campaign, stay tuned. But first, let's address a crucial question. Where can you include negative Amazon keywords? Well, you have two options. First is campaign level. When you add negative keywords at the campaign level, it applies to all the ad groups within that campaign. This is useful if you want to apply a negative keyword across an entire campaign. Next is ad group level. Adding negative keywords at the ad group level means it only affects that specific ad group. This option is available only when using manual keyword targeting and other ad groups won't be affected. Each option has its purpose. So uh, it's essential to consider them strategically. Now, how to add these negative keywords to your Amazon PPC campaigns? Firstly, log into your Amazon Seller Central account, navigate to the Advertising tab, select the Campaign Manager, choose the campaign or ad group where you want to add these negative keywords, click on Add Negative Keywords. Input the list of negative keywords, click Add Keywords and Save. 
Now, does this seem overwhelming? You can simplify the process of adding negative keywords to your Amazon PPC campaigns with the Seller App Advertising Platform. Log in to the Seller App dashboard, ensure your Amazon advertising account is connected to Seller App, access the advertising feature. Set your target ACoS for your advertising campaigns in the overview section. In the insight section, find the negative search terms and the negative ASINs. Your negative keywords are listed under the negative search terms. Review the performance metrics for the search terms and mark relevant ones as negative. Alternatively, you can also mark the negative ASINs using the seller app advertising feature. Now let's talk about how to remove the negative keywords from your Amazon PPC campaigns. Say you want to broaden your campaign's reach by getting rid of some negative keywords. So here's what you need to do. Log into your Amazon Seller Central account. Go to the advertising tab and select the campaign manager. Choose the campaign you want to remove uh, negative keywords from. On the left side of the screen, click on the negative keywords tab. Select the negative keywords you want to remove, then click archive at the top. Confirm that you want to remove the selected keywords by clicking the archive. And that's it. You have successfully removed negative keywords from your Amazon PPC campaigns. Just a heads up, once these keywords are archived, you can't retrieve them again. If you need them later, you'll have to add them back manually. Second is moving on to uh, you know, refining your broad match campaigns with three key metrics provided by Amazon advertising. So these metrics help you understand which search terms might be negatively impacting your campaign. Low CTR non-converters. Now these are terms that get your ad over 2,500 impressions but have less than 0.18% of click-through rate and no conversions. If you find any terms meeting these criteria, it's time to turn them into negative keywords. Next is high click non-converters. Now, Amazon sellers usually have an average conversion rate of 9.8% for anything which over, uh, you know, 34 clicks. If you're getting clicks without purchases in this range, it's a sign that you need to find better performing terms for your product. High spend low converters. Now evaluate your budget and your product's profit margins to identify the terms that are consuming a lot of your budget but not generating any sales. If you spot any in this category, it's a clear sign of a money-wasting term that needs to be eliminated. Now use these metrics as a guide to develop your negative keyword list and optimize your Amazon PPC campaigns effectively. Third is adding negative keywords for automatic campaigns. Now, negative keywords play a vital role in Amazon advertising automatic campaigns. They ensure that your ads reach only the right audiences, which in turn reduces your ad spending and boosts the efficiency of your campaigns. Additionally, when you're gathering keywords to find ones that convert well for manual campaigns, make sure to add these successful keywords as negative targets in your automatic campaigns. This prevents your automatic campaign from displaying ads for the same keywords, which could waste your ad budget. Moreover, including negative keywords in your automatic campaigns helps uh, refine your keyword targeting, making your ads more relevant to potential buyers. Next is avoiding competition among your own ads. Now, negative keywords also prevent your own PPC bids from competing against each other. For example, if you sell various smartphone cases, you can use negative keywords to prioritize the cases you're most interested in selling for uh, general search terms like smartphone case while using more specific terms like blue smartphone case for other products. Now, this strategy might not be as common as using negative keywords to optimize the broad match type campaigns, but it's straightforward to implement. You just need to identify your core terms by analyzing your product catalog, finding any overlaps and deciding which products are most important for your business. Factors like their uh, impact on uh, you know, customer lifetime value and your strategic business priorities can help guide your decisions. Next is move your broad match bids to exact match bids. Now, negative keywords mainly serve to cut down on the inefficiency of broad match and phrase match bidding strategies. However, uh, relying solely on the negative keywords is a temporary fix. 
Their ultimate goal is to move away from using negative keywords altogether and switch all your campaigns to exact match bids. Exact match bidding gives you more control over your bid prices and modifiers. It helps you target only the most relevant and valuable keywords, optimizing your exposure to terms that bring in the most conversions while capitalizing on low-cost, high-converting keywords. Sixth is utilizing audience targeting. Many advertisers use broad matches without much direction, leading to competition with irrelevant items. Now, for instance, uh, if you use the keyword uh, quote as a broad match, you might end up competing against items like oversized puffer coats and children's coats, even if your product is a wool blend coat for women. Now, to avoid irrelevant or non-converting clicks, consider using negative keyword campaign sculpting for broad match keywords. But be cautious and ensure you understand what search terms your audience uses before eliminating any high converting terms. Now, mastering negative keywords on Amazon is advanced technique that can significantly improve your Amazon PPC campaigns when used strategically. Uh, negative keywords help reduce wasteful ad spend enhance the campaign efficiency and ultimately lead to higher conversions. We encourage sellers to leverage Amazon negative keywords effectively. So regularly monitoring your search term reports, add negative keywords dynamically, use uh, match types for precision and segment your keywords for more control. Remember to strike a balance and avoid common pitfalls uh, like overusing the negative keywords or unintentionally blocking the relevant terms. The strategic approach not only boosts the performance of your Amazon ad campaigns but also contributes to your business's growth on this vast e-commerce platform. If you're looking to elevate your business further, consider checking out Celera. It's a powerful AI-based Amazon PPC software that gives you granular control over every aspect of your campaigns. Sign up today for a free 7-day trial. And that's it for this video everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Salura. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, happy selling.